Hi, P4 pupils. We are going to continue with the second example. Please watch the first example if you have not done so. The second example will be after you have watched the first one, okay? Now let's take a look at question number two. Draw the pair of, sorry, draw the path of light to show how Jenny is able to see herself in the mirror. Now this time around, there is an additional mirror. Do you see that? Now to do that, first of all, the light must always be the one that is shining. Do you remember that? So, draw it like this, light shining onto the mirror. Okay, so draw a line pointing at the mirror first. And then, don't forget, it is going to reflect. Now, how to reflect? It must also start from this point. Do you see my finger here? It's going to reflect that into Jenny's eyes. Okay, that's how it should be drawn. And then do not think that you are done. You still need to draw your arrow head. Huh? How to draw your arrow head? Okay, you can draw it this way. Okay, and then the other line will be like this. Now, then you see this actually, why is it like that? Okay, now, do you remember I said light shines onto the mirror and it gets reflected into Jenny's eyes. So you see, the light has an arrow that's pointing at the mirror and then it gets reflected into Jenny's eyes. Always remember, if you need to see something, the arrow must point into your eyes. So if you want to see something, the light must shine into the eyes. So always remember, do not mix up the arrow. That's where the problem is, okay? So do you understand this now?